Hey y'all, I'm Jason Knight and uh, I'm going to be reviewing my Ford series and uh, you can watch with me. I'm going to be making commentary on it more than likely because it was uh, back in October we filmed it and now is a great time to review. So this is the first of six episodes. This is just a sneak peek. We have over three hours of content. Or is it almost three hours of content? Either one of those. It's enough to uh, kind of blow your mind. Um, either get you very excited about this and want to watch more or come take a class, but at least get the series so you can understand, you can have a deeper understanding of what's actually happening when you're forging a blade. So I'll probably be making a lot of fun of myself. I hope you enjoy. Have a great day. Three, two, one. You have to click the space bar. What? The space bar, the long one. I am Jason Knight, and this is Forge. Yes. So I'm going to share with you what I've taken over 30,000 hours. Like bird to hair. And that's how to get to the elemental knife. How do you? Now a bird has a little fluffy things like that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> when I had more hair, I would try to do it like Wolverine sometimes, and I would Hi, shave I'm my Jason beard. Knight. Welcome you to the Maker's Forge series. I want to invite you to become part of the renaissance of being a maker. This is not about the dirt on my head. Why come nobody told me I had dirt on my head right there? I mean, we're shooting this thing all day long and nobody said, hey, you got a big thing of dirt right there. I guess that's part of it. Mm -hmm. In this series, I'm, I'm going to be sharing the elemental knife with you. This knife is forged all the way to finish. There's, it's forged to sharp is what I like to call it. So the reason I decided that to do this. That is a good looking knife. It oh, is I made that the one. essence of forging and bladesmithing. There's a lot of bladesmithing that you have seen. If you've looked at anything, you see all this finishing, all this finishing, all this finishing work. Now I wonder why I say things three times. I don't really know why I say it. I don't know why I say it. I just don't know why I say it. Forged, very little grinding. And this is the I hate grinding. Life. The features it has You a know what? I'm good at it though. <laughs> All these thoughts that I've incorporated into this design have come from knives from the Philippines or from the Middle East or from Nepal. Um, that I've combined them all in my time and experience growing up in a primeval swamp, literally. And I think it's funny that people don't know what that word means. Primeval. The elemental knife has these features. What is the that? They never cut the trees. Back. I want you to be able to make a handle like this. The blade. Some of the trees that I grew up in, so they're so big I could get inside of them. I want to share with why am I telling you? You don't care. <laughs> Everything on the knife, even though it looks sexy, it's a good-looking knife. It is all functional. Everything has a purpose. There's a reason behind everything that I've done on the knife. But still, it is a blade with two pieces of handle material and some pins. It's very simple in its construction, very complex in its thought and reasoning behind putting it together. The why is the most important part behind this knife. It's funny, some of the tools that I'm seeing in here, I've never seen them again after this thing, you know? And I think the kid with the white tennis shoes has them now. You're being creative. When you lay down some lines, those aren't rules. Now all of a sudden my shirt's dirty in this so one. When you begin to draw right. lines on a, on a piece of paper... What do we do with that drawing? You start to put it down. Do that drawing again. Do it again. You do know? it over and over again. And take all the features that you like... I'm not supposed to talk to you. I'm talking to you. Drawing. So every time I'm talking, I'm really talking to you. I'm not talking to somebody else standing over there. Because they moved behind the camera now. And the guide allows you freedom. I can kind of see it, but I, hey, I should have used a, a darker I like the one that I pen. Better than the one I drew. And you're gonna find that. So don't be a constipated knife maker, as I like to say. Draw knives, get ideas, fill up notebooks full of ideas, and then go and try and produce them. Looks like I'm cold forging there, but I'm not. It's just the camera makes it look like it's not as hot as it actually is. This is the missing link in the idea process. Where did the pencil come from? And 
you're trying to get that piece of steel to go right into the shape you drew. We actually this shot these in segments, so. The missing link right here. This is a wooden pattern. I just cut the blade shape out and I just glue it right here on the wood, cut it out. And I'm gonna forge to this shape. I'm gonna try. I'm not making this a rule. I'm making this a guide. So use your creative flexibility. If your knife comes out longer or shorter, skinnier or wider, those are okay. Maybe you have more curve, maybe you have less curve. The idea is you're gonna be able to get where you're going. You're heading in a direction and that direction is being able to forge that blade that you just imagined in your head. I want you to be able to get there and this is how you do it. In this series, uh, not everyone is going to have the tools that I'm showing you how to use. I didn't. I, use I just had that recently. Because this allows me to get to where I'm going as fast as possible. And over time, I've just... Well, that, that's some good cinematography stuff. right there, you know what I mean? I and that's as clean yeah, as that paper. has ever looked. <laughs> <laughs> what, if, what if while we were filming that part, the oil had fell over and caught the wall on fire? That would have been cool, huh? <laughs> I mean, it would have been cool for us, but it would have been cool visually. This is still going to help you level up. Every time I say level up, I, so I hear... This is da -da -da. the most important tips I can give you. Is, is that from uh, Mario Brothers? Do not yeah. respect you. They don't care about you. They don't love you. They just want to eat you. That's all they want to do. What happened Throw at those safety glasses, glasses, huh? All that stuff, fire especially. It just wants to eat. So Found somewhere else to go, I guess. A hat, nah. glasses, breastplate. Hey, I know where that hat is. Good ones. Don't buy cheap ones. Get nice glasses. These are the kinds I, I get. The hat? Clothes. You got that. Get That's the only one there ever was. <laughs> hat keeps the sparks from coming in between your glasses. I know it sounds weird. Keep sparks off your head when you're grinding. Respirator. Uh, this keeps fine dust particulate out of your lung. This is really bad, especially when you work with certain woods or certain metals. You don't want to breathe that stuff. Safety equipment that I don't recommend are uh, gloves, otherwise known as bitch mittens. I don't use these because gloves are a piece that. of equipment and then drag your hand in there. But I just That's hate it when I see people put on gloves to do everything. It's just like, you're never going to be able to feel it if you have gloves on. Your hands so. will also be more sensitive to feeling what you're doing. Touching the steel, holding the steel, forging a blade, grinding a blade. <coughs> Gloves are not going to assist you in that. They're just going to pull you into trouble. So I don't wear gloves. Do whatever you want to. Bitch mittens are not an option for me. You know, it looks like I've never washed my hands when I'm looking at this video. <laughs> and maybe it still looks like that. I do, but I mean, they're, they're just stained. I use it because it is consistent. It is, it has all of the things in it that I really like. It has vanadium. Um, that means it's tough, it is wear resistance, and it's, it's just the same thing over and over again. It's wonderful to forge, Pew. it's beautiful stuff. What I want you to understand is when you find a steel that you like, use that steel and don't fool around with other ones. Use one, learn it, learn yeah, it. Don't cheat on your steel. Learn why it works. That's the most important part. Um, exploit every <sighs> asset of this chemistry in the steel that you're using. This steel is good for a that little technique there with the for a sword with the um, tongs to hold it on. I learned that from Jimmy Kroll. That's why I like it. Get a steel like that. I didn't get that. to say that in the video. Say, but thanks, Jimmy Kroll. This and this steel for this and this steel for this. That just tells me you don't know what the hell you're talking about. I probably shouldn't have said hell. Not to be rude or anything, but when I hear these things, it just makes me just go, mm. Don't read more than you do. Do more. Do more and understand what you're reading. And what I mean by that is there's a lot of... I, mean, I was speaking uh, English. I don't really know why. I'd have to explain what I said, but I know we live in a culture now. Talk and geek talk? It's a little different. Nerd talk is... You don't know what the hell you're talking about. I shouldn't have said that. You're just but you don't know what you're talking read. about. Geek talk is... <laughs> that means if you just read, you know, that's just reading and not doing. I don't know what you're talking about. And that's, that's just weird, but that's like, a like your opinion, man. Uh, share with people, this steel is awesome. Find your steel, use it exclusively until you learn it. 
and then you can move on to another steel. So if you'd like to use 52 and 100, start with that. Use that only. Don't use anything else. Learn that steel. ADCRB. I feel like this guy's just kind of yelling at me a little bit. You know? you're not going to be able to get W-2. It has been made for 30 years. I don't care what... I probably shouldn't have said that either because of all the questions I had about W-2. it will be made again one day. doesn't exist. It's a mythological steel, and uh, just forget anybody ever said it. That's probably the best, best policy. Here's a pro tip for you. Always check your work. Check your work that allows you to move forward. Move forward slowly. Progress slowly, and you will progress steadily. Always check. Here's that work. pencil again. See, I meant to cut the tops off them pineapples like that, and then make that second cut. Zoop. See how they went in two directions? One went up, one went down. Okay, that was an accident, but it looks cool. The why behind the Forge series is I just wanted to share the information with the new maker, with the, the person who wants to get into this and be a maker, or the advanced maker, but also just for the person who finds this entertaining to watch bladesmithing and forging and watch the Forge series. And I hope you enjoy it.